Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Derek Casey, coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. And I apologize for my voice. Um, I've been having, like, some allergies and all this stuff going on. So I apologize if I'm a little scratchy right now. But I got a message for you guys, and I'm hoping that you guys come on and open up your ears and just listen in for a moment, okay? Because I got a really important message to share with you guys so we're going to let Facebook do its thing, bring up some people, let's do what we do, and then we're going to dive into the topic of the day, topic of the day, because I saw something this morning that, that, like I say, man, when I do Facebook lives, I never really have anything or write anything down, but when something, when something hits my, when something hits or I see something and, and it fires me up, I'm like, yo, let me talk to the people about it, all right? So we're going to get rocking and rolling. Now, I don't know if I can see comments at the bottom. I'm just going to put something here. And if you are on, if you could do me a favor, just put a comment down below because it's all about engaging. Maybe you got some questions or whatever the case. Uh, for some reason, when I've been shooting these lives, when I've been shooting these lives, I can't see the comments below when I do it from my phone. So if somebody can uh, put a comment at the bottom, I just want to see if I can see it. Then I'm going to dive into the this uh, this subject I'm going to talk about for you. So we got, hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? What's going on? Thank you so much for chiming in. I appreciate you. And if you're coming on, man, share this video. Share it because this is something that people need to hear. This is a message that people need to hear because maybe you have people in your life that are clueless um, on this subject I'm going to be talking about. But this is real information. Like information is out there. It's been out there for years. People just been ignoring it. You know what I'm saying? People just not paying attention. So we're going to do that. So, hey, uh, Toby, what up? Coach, what up? What up? Hey, could you do me a favor? Could you put me a, a comment at the bottom? I just want to see if I can see the comments real quick. I put hey at the bottom. I just want to see if I can see people coming in so that way I can engage with you guys, man. Because if you guys taking the time out your schedule to come on here and be with me, man, I want to be able to show you guys love, answer any questions that you may have, uh, whatever the case. But I'm just trying to see. Hold up real quick. Okay. I appreciate y'all patience here. I'm just trying to make sure this is right before I get started. Because I can see my comment at the bottom. Hey, Gina, what's going on? Hey, Gina, could you do me a favor? Could you throw me a comment at the bottom? I want to see if I can see... If I can see the comment... Before I get started. That way I can engage. So nobody think I'm ignoring them throughout. So... Yeah, we're getting some people coming on, man. Like I said, this is a, it's a really good one for you. What's up, y'all? Hey, are you guys putting comments at the bottom? I'm just trying to see if I can see them. If I can't see them, I apologize. For some reason, I don't know why this is happening and why I can't see them. But that's okay. We're going we gonna to get right to it because I want to be respectful of your time, okay? So anyways, let me go ahead and dive into it. And if you guys... Uh, Oh, so you are commenting. Okay, I just got a text from Coach. For some reason, I can't see him. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't see him. And why didn't? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, I don't know what I just pressed. But we in there. And we got Terry Jones here. Talking about text him a number and claim your cash. <laughs> you got to love these people that pop on here with some nonsense. Because you know damn well that don't work. But anyways, nonetheless. So this morning I was um I was scrolling through Facebook and I was about to put it on my page as a post, but I decided I wanted to go live first and talk about it so that, that way when you see the post for yourself, you'll be able to understand and put two and two together. You feel what I'm saying? So as we know, you know what I'm saying, you see in the comments, how long are you willing to let the government Take your money, your hard-earned money that you go out here and work for, okay? Just come in and Debo your money. I mean, I know you guys seen Friday. Y'all remember Debo. May he rest in peace. That Guess what the government is doing, guys. You go out here, you're putting in 40, 50, 60 hours a week, and then when you see your check, you see 
the gross amount and then all of a sudden you see all these minuses and then you see this thing called the net and when you see the net your net look pretty gross because you like where is all my money i mean if you guys understand what i'm talking about when you every pay period when you look at your check and if you have ever said damn all of these taxes drop a one in the comments drop a one in the comments because it's time to be transparent. It's time to wake you guys up because you guys have been on the wrong side of the money game for so long. All of us have. We've been robbed of these strategies and principles, right? The rules of the money game and how the wealthy really been living, okay? But don't worry because Derek Casey is going to educate you guys this morning. Now, it's up to you to take that education. Do a little research. Reach out to me. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions, concerns, or doubts. But it's time for you guys to take that information and actually do something with it. See, you can't, complaining about the money coming out your check is never going to change it, okay? I want you guys to understand that. You will never be able to go into your job and talk to your boss and say, hey, I need y'all to, I need y'all to do something for me and, and put more money in my check. That's not going to happen, okay? But if you haven't known, okay, I'm about to break this down to you. The tax game, the tax laws were never designed for W-2 employees. It was never designed for that. Okay. So why I'm saying that is because when you work a job, if you do not have a business, you don't have access to things that you can write off, how to turn your expenses into deductions. Maybe a lot of you guys didn't know that. I know for the longest time I have been in this industry. I had a business working a job and I was never educated on this information. I was never educated. Nobody told me, Derek, have you adjusted your W-4? Have you, you know, stopped overpaying the taxes, right? Have you kept more of your money? Nobody put me on to the game. I spent six years having a business and working a job not knowing this information. But I seen a post today that really struck me because it pointed me in the direction of showing me that I am in the right place at the right time with the right information for the right people, okay? Because not everybody going to take this information. Let's face the facts. A lot of people are very prideful. They think they got it all figured out, and they're just going to continue to go their path. But for the ones that really take this video serious, you can literally start to change things. So anyways, let me get to this post. So I'm scrolling. I see this post. This guy took a snippet of his check. Okay, he took a snippet of his check, not how much he made, but how much money the government took from him. Okay, it was just that little strip. And he said, he said, I, he drive trucks for a living. So he's a truck driver. He literally put on there. He said, you know, I love my job and, and the type of money I make until I look at my paychecks and see how Uncle Sam is robbing me. So he enjoys what he does the money that he makes, but the reality set in, Uncle Sam is getting a big chunk of his money, upwards of $832. Now, I'm not for sure if that's a month. I'm not for sure if that's a pay period. I'm not for sure because I don't. It, he didn't really dis, uh, dispose how, um, how he gets paid or whatever the case, but just think about that. If it's eight, even if it's eight hundred and thirty two dollars a month that he's paying in taxes, if you do the math, guys, that's just under ten thousand dollars a year that he's giving away to the government. That's under ten thousand. That's just under ten thousand dollars. We might as well round it up and say ten thousand dollars a year that he's giving away to mm -hmm. the government. And he's still, he's still clueless on why Uncle Sam mm -hmm. is taking all of his money. He's, he's, he's sitting there trying to figure it out. And it's been, it's been in the tax laws for so many years, but we haven't found this information. We haven't been able to learn the strategies and how to implement those strategies, which is causing millions of people to be overpaying in taxes. But guess what, guys? I got some information that can help you stop overpaying in taxes and keep more of your hard-earned money in your check. And it was one little secret, and y'all heard me say it if you didn't pick up on it. You got to start a business. You got to start a business. Now, 
The thing is, is that when you start a traditional business, a lot of people just don't have the money to go and start a traditional business, like getting the building and, you know, finding a product or service that they're going to be creating and selling and hiring people and the legalities, right? But what you can do to help you guys is start a home-based business. Did you guys know that by simply just starting a home-based business, starting it, you can adjust your W-4. This is for all my W-2 employees. You can adjust your W-4 and keep more of your money in your check. How many of you guys knew that? You probably didn't. I didn't for six years until I got my hands on this opportunity. Did you know that just by starting a business that you could turn your expenses into deductions? Hmm. What's your expenses? The things that you already spend your money on. So if you have a home-based business, guess what? A portion of your home is a tax write-off. If you drive a car and you mention your business, mm -hmm. guess what? That is a tax write-off. If you pay for internet, guess what? And you use it for your business, that is a tax write-off. You have a cell phone, which everybody does. You use it for your business. That is a tax write-off. So what is that doing for you? Okay, Turning expenses into deductions. Let me educate y'all. When you start a home-based business, you keep more of your money up front. Why? So that way you can maintain your business. You can use that money to grow your business. When you have your expenses, now you can start to write those things off. What it's doing is that it's lessening the amount that the government can tax you on. So it's beautiful. Let me let me show you. As a W-2 employee, you work hard, right? The government takes their money off top and you have to live off of what's left. But when you incorporate a business while working a job, guys, guess what? You can now keep more of your money up front and then pay taxes on what's left. Okay? So what would you rather do? Would you rather continue to give your money, your hard-earned money to the government before you see it and then having to live off the scraps that's left? Or would you rather keep more of your money up front so that way you can maintain your business, write those expenses off, and then pay money on the taxes that's left? I want to give you guys an example. Jeff Bezos, CEO of Amazon. All of you guys shop on Amazon. This man made billions of dollars, paid zero in taxes. Let me say that again. Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, made billions of dollars, paid zero in taxes. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you over here working for $15, $16, $17 dollars an hour. Maybe you got a salary of $40,000 or more, and you giving upwards of 37% of your income to the government in taxes. It's a common sense thing. How can a man make way more money than you and pay zero in taxes, but you make far less money and you're paying upwards of 37%. Yet, we still do it. Yet, we go to work and we continue to do it, hoping and wishing that at some point you catch a break. Well, you're not going to catch a break. Not as long as the government had their hands in the cookie jar, you're never going to catch a break. But the only way to do it, guys, is by starting a business. Which is the reason why I get so passionate about sharing this information is because... The information that we lack, that we were never taught when we were coming up, is the very information that now at the age of 36, I am now understanding. And now I'm able to turn things around quickly. Could you imagine if God didn't bless me with this opportunity at the age of 36, I still would have been just working a job, overpaying the taxes in hopes that something was going to give us a break. But when I started learning this stuff, and learning how the money game works. And I've been on the wrong side of it. Now it's time to get on the right side of the money game. And they started showing me that. Guys, I want to share that with you guys. Listen, there, you guys can sit here and you can ignore it. You can go back to what you're doing. But I'm telling you, five years from now, if you don't change it, it's going to get worse. It is going to get worse. Because you got to remember, we're in a pandemic. A lot of money lost. The only way to make that money up, guys, is guess what's going up? Taxes are going to increase. 
Inflation is going up. We already see it happening around us. But if your income is not moving, you are putting you and your family at risk financially. And the fact of the matter is taking a small investment to get yourself started, to put yourself in position, to be able to keep more of your money so you can leverage it to do other things, get your money, making more money for you, take care of debt, whatever it is, that's your money. But if you don't come in and take action, you are going to continue to keep giving your money away. So that's the reason why I come on here and I share these videos and I come to educate you guys because it's time to change that. This stops today. This stops today. It is time for us to be able to go to the people and say, look, guys, we have the answers. We have the answers. That's right. I have an opportunity right now, guys, that can help you along the way to give you a financial makeover that you definitely need. Most people need. Let me tell you something. We got people who are overpaying in taxes. We're teaching them how to stop overpaying in taxes. And we go a step beyond that. We give you a enrolled agents with the IRS that understand the tax laws that do the work for you. How nice is that, right? Because guess what? The wealthy had, didn't stay wealthy because of what they were doing. Guess what they had? A team of experts that advise them on what to do, how to make smart decisions with their money. Guess what? We're bringing that to the hardworking people. Okay. We teaching people how to increase them credit scores. So guess what? Now them interest rates and insurance premiums can come down. Why? So you can keep more of your hard earned money, take your money back from the banks, put that back in your household and leverage it to do something else. We're teaching people how to how to eliminate debt in record time, guys, saving them thousands in interest. We're showing people, we're showing people how to reduce their monthly bills to keep more of their hard earned money. And guess what? In all of these categories that I'm talking about, we give you experts that do the work. So you don't have to try to figure it out for yourself and sit down and racking your brain and looking at videos and reading articles and trying to take notes. No. We are giving you the experts that's going to do the work for you while educating you along the way. See, the thing you guys got to understand, there's a phrase called income shifting. I didn't understand that phrase for the longest time until I got in this opportunity and I got connected with my experts. And they say these are the strategies that we use to help people get their money back from the government, the banks and big business. That's right. The government and bank, the government, the banks and big business that's been taking from us for many years. They're rich. We over here struggling. OK, so we're going to help you keep that money. So that way now we have experts that's going to show you the best ways to save, grow and protect your money tax free with no risk of loss. So we're going to put more money into your household. So that way you can leverage that money to make more money for you. So you can start preparing for your retirement for your kids' college funds, and finally leaving a legacy behind for your family instead of debt, okay? That's what we're doing. That's what I share every single day. That's why I'm so passionate about it. When I saw that post this morning, it fired me up because that guy right there, I'm sending him a message because I want to talk to him. He may or may not jump on board and say, yo, I'm all in. But you know what? I don't care about that. What I care about is that he knows that this is available to him. And when he gets tired of overpaying the taxes and seeing that $832 coming out his check every single pay period or month or whatever, when he gets tired of that, he knows who to reach out to. Guys, it's time to wake up. Like I said before, 2020 was the year of lessons learned. But 2021 is the year of game planning with execution and no excuses. So it's time for you guys to wake up. If you didn't learn anything from 2020, you're going to be lost in the sauce in 2021. Okay? We got to realize these jobs ain't loyal to any of us. We got to realize that the government does not have our backs. What other choices do you have right now to generate an income that you are in control of? What are the options? 
besides starting a home-based business and building something for yourself and your family? What are the options? I want y'all to think about that. Last year, when all of this stuff was going on between the coronavirus and politics and the presidential election, things are shutting down. Our economy is crashing around us. The one thing that never went down was the Internet. The Internet never shut down. Not one time did you get on social media or see it on the world news or whatever the case that the Internet shut down. People were still making money online. People were still making money. Because the Internet shut, never shut down. I'm trying to wake y'all up. And most of you guys that come across this video right now still won't pay attention. You still won't pay attention. You still gonna be like, well, you know, I'm, I'm gonna just stick to my job. Okay. You're gonna continue to overpay your taxes. Your credit score is probably not the greatest right now. You're probably buried under debt. And you probably ain't got two nickels to rub together for your retirement. Guys, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. Like, I'm sorry if the truth hurts, but that was my life. I can speak on this because I'm speaking from experience. I know where my life was at just almost two years ago. Two years ago, working a job, barely making it. I got four children, a wife, things that I have to take care of. Guys, I was tired. I was going to work. I was getting my paychecks and I was just seeing them going to the bills. It was bad because when, when payday would come around, I wasn't, I wasn't excited. I was already calculating what was coming out of my check before I even got it and what was going to be left from this paycheck to the next paycheck that I receive. Never leaving us enough to do anything. I got tired of having a lot of my kids, you know what I'm saying, when they wanted to do things, all of them, you know, next time, knowing we was living on the edge of our finances. I got to a point where I was tired of hearing my wife say, oh, we can't have those things maybe one day if we win the lottery. I'm working my butt off, but I'm not able to fulfill my family. I'm not able to fulfill my family. So much so that my wife is hoping and wishing we win the lottery so we could do all the things that we want to do. That's when it opened my eyes that I would never be able to create the life that I want to create for my family with just my job alone. And when I started this opportunity, it was to help me overcome some of the challenges I was having financially. And then on the business side, being able to do exactly what I'm doing and go out here and help empower somebody else. Tell people. This opportunity helped me create a testimony so strong that when I talk to people, it's not selling. It's me talking to people and opening their eyes to say, guys, it's time to get on the right side of the money game. I have the rules right here. Let me show you how to implement these rules. You feel what I'm saying? And trust me, guys, listen, I totally understand. Listen, I understand. Y'all come across so many opportunities online. You know what I'm saying? Some people got the shiny object syndrome. Somebody come on and say, oh, who want to make $500 a week and who want to do all these? I, I get it. And you probably come across this video and you may feel the same thing about this video because y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know me from, from a hole in the wall, right? But understand, as you get to follow me, and you follow my page and you see my videos and you see my post, you're going to understand that I am one of the realest people on the Internet. One of the most genuine. Anybody that know me, y'all can call me. Guess what? The person you see on this video is the person you get on the phone. This ain't no act. I'm not looking for a, a Emmy or a Golden Globe Award to get on here, act in front of you guys, sound amazing, I bring the fire, and then I'm a different person when this camera go off. Absolutely not. At the end of the day, I still work a full-time job. I have four beautiful babies. I'm married, right? I go through things just like everybody else. But I'm here to tell you that with this opportunity, it changed my life. It changed how I look at things. It changed my relationship with money. I'm able to do more things now. I'm able to make more investments to start preparing myself. 
that when another pandemic come, my family not going to hurt. The people that connect with us, they're not going to hurt because all you have to do is come in and get with us and plug in and we are going to help get you there. That's what I'm passionate about. Creating a community where people matter. Creating a community where people matter. Where we sharing things is going to help you grow. Not a community with negativity and chaos and all that. That's what you see out in the real world now. We creating a community to take you away from that. Show you a better way. And it's totally up to you guys to believe that. A lot of y'all will hear this and it sound good in your mind, but then you start creating these scenarios that push you further away from the opportunity than opening the door and letting opportunity in. Y'all got things running through your head like, I wonder if this works. Oh, can I really do these things, right? Well, let me tell you something. A million questions will never put a million dollars in your bank account, ever. Ever. I just want y'all to understand that. It will never do it. And the only thing you could do, guys, is come on board and check it out for yourself. And what I love most about this, guys, there's no risk with joining us. We don't want people losing money because we know how hard it is out there for families. But we want you guys to make that sacrifice. Make that sacrifice. Invest and come on board. Let us get you plugged in. If you don't see the, the results, right? If we can't get you the results that you're looking for, we can't help you make or save more money. Guys, guess what? We give you your money back. You never lost anything. And when you have something like this, an opportunity to help you to stop overpaying in taxes, to help increase your credit score so the interest rates and insurance premiums can come down, to help you eliminate your debt in record time, to help you reduce the monthly bills that you pay, to start preparing you to be able to make investments and make your money, make more money for you with a team of licensed experts and enrolled agents that's doing all the work while educating you. I, I, it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. Because if you look at what we do and you try to go out here and do it yourself, most people don't last because it takes work. It takes consistency. It takes staying on top of the laws and everything that's changing in the economy. You got to know those things. But here we got a team of licensed experts. That's what they do with over 25 years of experience that understand the rules of the wealthy and how the money game is played. And now they are going to work on your behalf. If you try to go out and find these experts yourself, guys, you're going to pay way more money out of pocket just to have a conversation. But here you got a team of experts that you can talk to anytime you want, ask any questions that you want, and they there in the trenches with you helping you to overcome them financial challenges and giving you a real financial makeover in 2021. I hope y'all hear me, man. I hope y'all hear me. I hope you are fired up right now. I hope that you say, I'm tired. I want y'all to put that in the comments. I don't know. I can't see them, but I want you to put in the comments. I'm tired. I'm tired. Put that in there. If you tired of overpaying the taxes and seeing your hard earned money be taken away from you, put in the comments, I'm tired. If you tired of your credit score getting you denied everywhere, have you pay higher interest rates, put in the comments, I'm tired. If you tired of seeing that debt hanging over your head in fear that you're going to be leaving all of that to your family long after you go and say, I'm tired. If you're tired of looking at your retirement and looking at the age and saying, man, I'm not going to be able to retire until I'm 73 or until I'm damn near in the casket, say, I'm tired. Say, I'm tired. That's what I want to see. I want to see I'm tired because if you are tired, that's it is time to change. That's the emotion I want you to feel. I come on this video to piss you off. Not in a bad way, but to wake you up, to tell you guys that you can no longer live your life based on the old principles. They th Listen, the system was never designed for us to win. They told us to go to school, get good grades. They told us to go to college, get a degree. They told us after we got out of college to go find that dream career. They told us to buy the house with the white picket fence. They sold it to us as the American dream. 
If it was that easy, why is millions of people out here without jobs right now? Why are there millions of people right now buried under college debt because they followed those principles and still have nothing to show for it? It don't work anymore. And in order for things to change, you have to change and have things that you never had, guys. You got to do things that you've never done. A little small investment, a little small investment. For a long-term gain, can you really sit there and tell yourself that it's not worth it? That if you invest a couple hundred dollars in yourself and you plugged in and you seen the return from that one little investment, you can't tell me that that wouldn't be worth it for you and your family? Like I said, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you what you need to hear. And if you in your feelings right now, you should be. You should be. That's exactly what we want. We want you to be in your feelings in hopes that you take that feeling and you use it as motivation to change. It's game time, y'all. 2021, we are not playing. It's time for you to stop playing with your financial situation. Because the decisions that you make today, if you're a parent, will not only affect you, but it, it affects your children's future. In a crazy world like this, that little small investment is worth me putting in the time and the effort to make sure that my babies ain't never going to have to want for anything in their life. That's the mindset that you should have right now, this morning. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm fired up. I'm fired up. And I wish I could see all of your comments. <laughs> But I'll respond to the comments after this video. So I appreciate you guys coming on here and just listening in. And for the people that engaged and put stuff in the comments, guys, I appreciate you. And once again, guys, share this video. Okay? Share it. Share it. Somebody need to hear this message. Somebody in your life needs a financial breakthrough, even if you don't. See, a lot of times people come in and they'll see something and say, well, I don't need that. Okay, that's cool. But who do you know that does need it? Who do you know? You may be set, but are you showing the people that's in your life how they could be set like you? If not, share this message. Don't be selfish. Put this information in front of them. It may or may not be for them, but give them a chance. Don't sit back and continue to watch your people just fold and crumble during this pandemic let's lift each other up that's the problem in our economy today everybody just want to do their own thing and, and and just focus on them no the picture is bigger than that that's why i do what i do every single day that's why i'm passionate about what i do every single day every time my phone ring every time i speak to somebody i am trying to speak through them because I want them to feel it. I want them to understand that there's people out there that care. Even if you feel like your family ain't got your back, your friends, anything, there are people, strangers out there that's rooting you on. And I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I'm rooting you on. Every one of you guys that come across this video had the capabilities of being great. But most of you just aren't willing to do what it takes. And until you change that, you're going to be on this path. For many, many years to come. Let's switch it up, y'all. Let's get going. All right. So once again, guys, thank you so much. I know, man. I just, uh, I get so passionate, man. I want to keep it short, but it's cool. It's okay. Y'all hung out with me and y'all stayed to the end. I appreciate every single one of y'all. But if anybody has any questions about what I just spoke about today, feel free to shoot me a message. All right. I'm off this weekend. I'm hanging with the babies. They in there doing their thing. So I can answer some messages. If you want to get on a phone call, I'd be happy to talk with you, answer any questions, concerns, or doubts. If anybody shared this video with you and you reach out, let me know who, where you saw this video at. So that way I can reach out to them and let them know that you are reaching out so I can get you over to them. Okay. I don't want people to be afraid to share these videos. I just want to get the message out to the people. All right. So with that being said, God bless. Once again, here's a saying to go by. If you give people the power to feed you, you give the same people the power to starve you. Write that down and let that and, and let that marinate on your brain. If you give people the power to feed you, you give people the, the same people the power to starve you. 
And that's so true. We see it in our economy today. All right. So that being said, guys, thank you so much. It's your boy, Derek Casey, signing off from Dallas, Texas. Love you guys. God bless. We're going to holler at you soon. Peace.